Hello everyone, welcome to Don Amots. My name's Adam and today I've got for you a Bailey Autograph 816. It's a 2021. It's done just under 4,000 miles. It's six berth, six belts, so perfect family van. Um, it does weigh in at 4,250 kilo, so you will need your C1 entitlement to drive this um, on your, or you need it on your license to be able to drive it. It's a 2.2, 2, 165 brake horsepower on a Peugeot. Um, so let's have a look around and see what we've got. You notice we've got the Peugeot alloy wheels. On the autograph you have the nice black cab and the graphics all down the side. You've got your electrical hookup point just there. Further down you've got your water intake just there. Here we have your toilet cassettes. It's a nice job for the kids when you take them away. You've got the vent for your Aldi heating. Um, so it's the wet central heating system on this one. Very much like your heating at home. This one has the rear lounge, so underneath it goes all the way through to the side, so you can get your tables, chairs, you will get your cat out barbecues, anything like that in there as well. Round onto the back, we've got reverse camera, two bike rack as well. Onto the passenger side, there's another opening to the garage, so it does go all the way through. Awning winders in there. Talking of awnings, right at the top. So you've got your full length fuel wind out canopy. While we're up there, you've got your TV aerial. There is a solar panel on the roof as well. We've got your fridge and freezer vents just here. So we've got the tall fridge, which you can tell by that. External socket there. Underneath the awning or anything outside. Gas locker here. You've got room for two six kilo bottles. You use one and you carry one as a spare. And then just next to that, you've got your gas barbecue point. So you don't need to hook up to your bottles, just straight into the side there. Makes it really, really easy. Um, diesel point is located just at the front here. You've got your diesel and your ad blue there as well. So, onto the inside. Awning lights just above the door. You've got blind on the door. You've got bin. And we do have a fly screen as well. Let's go on in. Let Wendy go down to the front. Nice big open lounge area. Down into the cab, you've got your sat nav, you've got your phone connectivity, we've got cab air conditioning, six speed manual gearbox, you've got cruise control, you've got all your steering wheel controls on there, electric windows, electric mirrors. We've got cab blinds on your, both your doors and your windscreen as well to give you the privacy on an evening. Both the chairs are swivel. So we've got the passenger one swivel around there at the moment and then round into the lounge so this is your extra traveling seats we've got two here and two there they have to be forward or rear facing so you've got driver passenger room for two room for two there this does make up to a bed at the front um, there's a table which goes just there as well we've got storage underneath the benches and on this side more storage under there as you can see plug sockets dotted about for your power the other bed is just above me, or one of the other beds. We've got another double up here. I'll demonstrate that at the end of the video for you. Uh, we've got TV bracket holder just there, and you've got power point, TV point, 12 volt and aerial all up there as well. Over onto this side by the door, we've got your main control panel for the van. It turns the van on and off. Light switches, and we've got carbon monoxide alarm, smoke alarm up there as well. Down into the kitchen, you've got your extra work surface space. Control panel for your Aldi heating, plug sockets for kettle toast or anything you might like, and plug sockets on there, oh, light switches on there as well. Built in microwave, and then we've got storage up here, pots, pans, anything like that. You have got your draining board in there as well. Pop that back. This is the top of your hob, so it turns into extra work surface space when you're not using it, so you've got loads and loads of work surface, but when you do want to use it, pops up. And we've got three ring gas hob and one electric plate there. So you've got the full works on this one. We've got your grill, separate oven, and we've got storage. And all these drawers as well, they're all storage for your kitchen. They're all soft closed as well. Nice, nice finish. They just close by themselves, one at the bottom as well. Little radiator here just for your Aldi heating. And then we'll finish off the kitchen with your fridge freezer before we turn on to anything else. So you've got your freezer at the top just here. And then we've got your fridge down there. Great thing with these ones is the doors open either way. So you can open it from that side. 
this side really really good idea it's full size plenty of room to get your stuff in for your six people more storage at the top and then we do have a partition here as well so if you've got people sleeping in the back or in the back while people are sleeping in the front you can partition them off we'll come back to the bathroom in a minute but moving down to the wardrobe here you've got the ladder for the bed on the door you've got free standing table there there's your Aldi fluid just in there hanging rail loads and loads of storage in there so into the back really nice spacious lounge area starting at the top we've got loads more storage lockers there's the controller for your solar panel which is on the roof another tv point here with plug socket room for a bracket there nice down lighters we've got shelving all around more storage same again on this side all your literature's in there tv aerial just in there so this does turn into a big big double bed um, it just pulls out from there all the way down to the front underneath the benches as well carrying on the theme with storage loads under there underneath the back one we've got the locker that we saw outside so you've got your garage storage there and underneath this one there is more storage you've got your aldi system in there your tank there is some of the infill cushions but there is still room to store stuff under there more plug sockets under the benches as well so then into the bathroom we're heading back down towards the front of the van yeah. wendy can go in you've got a separate shower to the side of the toilet it does partition off you've got your toilet your sink hanging rail you've got a window in there and your cupboard to put all your toiletries in as well and then before we finish me and wendy swap places i'll just show you the drop down bed how easy it is so double bed up here literally hold on to the bar press the button in there's a button just there and down it comes like so let me move out of the way drop this down wendy can get a bit closer really really generous sized bed even if you're not traveling with a six of you and you want to leave it set up as your lounges and then just go to bed you can leave your bed made up send it back up in the day really really easy to use ladders in there and then when you are finished with it again just press your button and up we go there we go it's out of the way just like that so it's just arrived here in hilton at our showground in uh, derby if you've got any questions my name's adam please give me a call i'm part of the sales team and we're all more than happy to help thank you